the first thing to establish in this particular patient is to establish whether or not the baby is having, uh, the fetus is having a hydrops fetalis or not. And based on the ultrasound description that the patient came up with, uh, there are two different diagnostic criteria. The first is to have a, a, a fluid collection in two different body cavities to establish a diagnosis of hydrops fetalis. And the other is to have a single body cavity with fluid in the presence of subcutaneous uh, edema. And this patient have an ultrasound diagnosis that has a pleural effusion and an ascites, which establishes a diagnosis of uh, non uh, hydrops fetalis. And the second step is to, to establish whether the, this hydrops fetalis is non-immune or um, immune hydrops fetalis. And as you can see from the investigation, this patient had uh, indirect combustance done three times, which was uh, negative. So this establishes a diagnosis of non-immune hydrops fetalis. And you may wonder why this patient had uh, three uh, indirect combustors done for her. And you can imagine whenever you have an average negative woman with an average positive husband and a previous history of abortion for which she was not uh, provided with anti-D, everybody will be thinking of uh, immune hydrops. But this was not the case in this particular patient.